Right, welcome to a Rage Network video. It's me and him, and we're both here today. And we're going to talk about a very important issue, right? And that is aliens. The different species, their contact with the deep state government, and what they want with people. Okay, we're going to focus on the evil ones today, and the ones that kind of don't give a fuck, right? So, first we start with what is the deep state? So, the deep state is the shadow government within the government, okay? Every country has one, right? And these deep states, they control everything, right? Behind the scenes, pull the strings of the puppet masters, right? And they function as a one world government that controls everything. Same Bilderberg group, Rothschild, and the tribe that shall not be named. We all know who that is. It is real. Right, okay, there we go. And also you've got, uh, what do you call it? Yeah, the US government. The most, there's number four, so, four. The most evil entity on earth. Right. And the guys at the top, we don't know their names. If you know their names, they're not a true elite. These people, we don't know who they are. Right, but we know who their puppets are. So you've got Bill Gates. You've got Mark Zuckerberg. I like to call him Mark Cuckerberg, because he's a little cut Rassi Verita, right? And you've got all these kind of people, right? You've got Donald Trump, you've got the Clintons, you've got the Kennedys, all these people, man. And they're all puppets of the deep state, okay? Now, the deep state, they're all satan satanic communists, okay? So they all are practitioners of satanism and child sacrifice, child sexual exploitation for the purpose of gaining favour with Satan, right? And this brings us into our next topic, which is aliens. Because the deep state, the cabal within the deep state, are friendly with evil ETs, people that want to do us harm because they see us as cattle and they're superior beings. We start with the most evil one of all, which is the Draca, okay? These are shape-shifting reptilian entities, okay? And they come from the planet Zeta Reticuli, okay? Now, these things, they range between 6 and 15 foot tall. The leader's an albino lizard that's 15 feet tall and uses telepathy and pheromones to control people. Now, that's what they do as well. And their aims are genetic experimentation with humans, the conquering of humans, the enslavement of everybody they meet. And they've been at war with the tall whites and the Nordics for the longest time. Because these are aliens that are on our side. Now... They're, they do horrible things to us, man. And they've got places, full sea base. They've got, what do you call it? Area 51. Roswell. All those places. RAF Braze Norton. That place in Australia. I can't remember the name. Right? And that's what they do there. They're all about that kind of stuff. Okay? And they come here, and they take you away in the spaceship, and they put a probe up your asshole. That's what they like to do. Right, and the deep state wants that because they know that that's bad and that gives them favour with Satan so they can get more satanic power so they can live forever. Now, there are several ETs who are on our side and they're fighting the evil ones, right? And I can't even remember them. You've got the Anunnaki. They're like extremely powerful aliens with the big head. It's like this. And they're on our side, like the side of, of goodness, the side of God and stuff like that. And their aim... They live on the fifth dimensional plane. They have transcended past technology. So what they do is they control the vibrations of their existence on their plane to manipulate stuff like they can travel between dimensions, they can teleport, they can heal themselves just by, well, basically by meditating, right? They're very spiritually advanced, so, so much so that they've transcended technology. And they're on our side, which is because they seek for us to be more spiritually advanced, Okay, and to be more in touch with spirituality and be more virtuous people. Okay, so, so I'm going to say, how can we fight the deep state? How can we fight the cabal? How can we fight the Draco? And how can we win? Right, they practice Satanism, so we need to start practicing the opposite of Satanism. This is you, maybe, now. So, how the hell do we increase our spiritual goodness and our vibrations and stuff? <laughs> You're a moron.
Right, are you too stoned to speak? Yeah. Okay, my friend, who's also in the order, is a bit too stoned and he was kind of zoned out there. So, <laughs> right. So I'm going to talk about it then. Yes, he's the occult expert in the group. I'm the charismatic leader, as you can tell. Right, I'm more the ideal ideology side of the order. And he's the occult leader. Right, the leader of the scientific research division. Now, okay, you can practice rituals, okay? Rituals that will gain you goodness. Okay, so you can do rituals contact, like gods like Avatron and shit like that. You'll gain more knowledge through that kind of stuff, okay? And you practice meditation and practice, um, like, trying to access the higher plane. Not of existence yet, but just of knowledge. Okay, because we are all tuned into it. We just need to change the vibrational patterns and we can get there. Okay. So, yeah, that's pretty much what you need to do. And be a virtuous person. Okay. But I don't mean, don't be virtuous to subhumans. Look after your own kind. Okay. So, do that. And you'll be closer and closer to transcending. Right. And there was another one as well. Yeah, you need to practice astral projection. So next time you're in your bed, and don't jerk off. Jerking off is not allowed. No masturbation, no coming, no sex. Right, because that's sexual energy is also spiritual energy. And you're wasting your spiritual spiritual energy when you you know, experience an orgasm, because that's just, that energy is wasted, it's just gone, it's gone to hedonism and pleasure, so don't do that, instead practice AP in your bed, so you're going to lie down, you're going to do breathing exercises, which you can find online, and then you're going to, you'll leave your body, you'll get an out-of-body experience, and with this you can fly to anywhere, you can travel to the fifth dimension, okay, you can go to Venus, you can go to Saturn, you can go to Mars, go to all these places, you can see that the earth is actually flat, because you can fly above the earth and you can see it right, from your astral projected self. That's what you need to do. Because we need to fight back against these evil evil wrongdoers in our society. Really, they're co-opting everything. They're manipulating it. Okay, And in conjunction with the ETs, okay, they are feeding off of our negativity to fund their satanic stuff. Like fund it with our energy. Okay, so we spend our time killing each other, we spend our time hating each other, okay? The aliens feed off of that, the satanic cabal feeds off of that. So you need to not let them do that. Okay, so, yeah. I'm going to leave it at that, unless he's got something to say. Have you got something to say? Nihilism is bad. Okay, yeah. Uh, nihilism is bad. That's the new motto, okay? Actually, no, there's two new mottos, okay? Because our group is aimed to create the Greater British Union, which is a new Britain. So that has a motto as well, I'll tell you that in a minute. So, nihilism is bad, okay? And also, the Greater British Union, the motto of them will be Union Eternal, okay? So, nihilism bad, Union Eternal, peace out.